Hello everybody and welcome back to another Pocketmine plugin tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at Pure Perms, which is quite a difficult plugin, I will warn you. Um, it is all to do with permissions, creating ranks, uh, creating groups, um, adding permissions which go alongside other plugins, which basically allow your players to do or not to do a specific action and so I'm going to be using the example of easy kits um, quite a lot because in the other tutorial that I've done on easy kits um, linked in the top right corner now um, I've had lots of people asking about permissions and people finding it complicated so I thought I'd make this tutorial just to kind of clear up how to do it and um, all the stuff like that you need for easy kits so that's what we're going to be doing today if you're not already subscribed then click the subscribe button more than 80 percent of people that watch my videos are not subscribed so please do subscribe it'll make me very happy anyway without further ado let's get on with today's video so first off um obviously make sure you are subscribed as the beautiful wool says but uh, the first command we're going to be looking at today is slash groups basically i'm going to do this in kind of two stages First stage, just the um, pure perms commands, and then second stage, the group related commands to do with setting permissions and all of that uh, good stuff. So, slash groups is our first command, and this will show you the default groups. So, this is what if you install pure perms on your server, you'll be uh, have these groups default guest, which is the um, default group. So, anyone that joins your server will be given guest rank. Admin, uh, obviously for your staff, owner, for you supposedly, and then op, which is for anyone with op permissions basically. And that will automatically be given to anyone with op. This will automatically be given to anyone who joins the server. And these you give to people yourself basically. So let's say that we wanted to add a group between guest and admin, for example, for players who have donated to our server or they've just done something extra special we're going to do slash add a group and then the group that we want to add so let's just do VIP so now if we do slash groups you'll see we have VIP group but here's the problem VIP group now it's not in between here because it doesn't have the permissions of guest um, so we don't want it to have the permissions of admin, but we want it to have the permissions of guest. So we do slash add parent target group, and then we added guest to VIP's inheritance list. Now, if we do slash groups, it won't show. It won't show any different, but we know from the config files and stuff like that, we've set it so basically VIP is in between guest and admin now. Okay, so next kind of thing you want to do is, I guess, just some kind of other basic pure perms commands that you're probably going to want to use and know at some point is slash uh, def group or def group, which sets the default group. So it's defaulted to guess, but obviously we'll just put that in. And now that will be the default group has been set to guest. So if you wanted to get rid of guest, for example, or no, actually what I'd say is don't get rid of guest because you can always change the name and stuff with pure chat, which is, you know, going to be better than um, removing this because this comes with the default pocket mine permissions. So you do want to make sure you keep guest and just, you know, you can change the name with pure chat to whatever you want it to be, basically. Uh, and then there's also less G perms and stuff like that. So when we start giving permissions to players, um, you'll be able to see uh, all of the commands that it's it's got. So these are the default things that are on guest. So we don't want to mess with any of this because that will most probably break stuff so let's not do that other commands then we've got um, some reload commands that's pretty much all the other ones there are slash pure perms reload which will reload all of the 
config files and then info which will just show what version it is and who it's by basically and then we'll move on to giving players permissions using the example of easy kits uh, so this is where lots of people have been asking in the comments of the easy kits video how do I set a VIP's kit I do not understand so basically set G perm is going to set it's going to add a permission to the group now there's also unset G perm as well if you want to remove it so the group that you want to give this permission to in our case we're making a VIP kit so it's going to be grouped VIP and then the easy kits permission which for kit is easy kits dot kit dot your kit name so let's say we've made a kit and we've called it VIP all capitals we've called it all capitals VIP this is going to be the permission to let VIPs claim the VIP kit basically so then we take on to enter on that and that would all be working alternately there's category so if we had a category for VIPs only and we called it capitals VIP then easykits.category.vip. Now what I recommend is when you're dealing with easy kits, do not create anything with color codes because that is gonna be very difficult to do in your um, pure perms and you could just mess it up and you know, we don't wanna do that. But if, um, if you wanna do color codes for pure chat, which I'll be doing in a separate video, then you can always use my tutorial on how to add color codes there. But do not do them when dealing with these permissions because that's going to mess things up and we, we don't want things to be messed up really. Now it's also worth pointing out that PRPMS has got this nice feature where you can also set the world it's in as well. So um, let's say you want to do this. You could then say you have a world called Kit PVP where you want them to be able to access this kit. Then that's what you'd put. The, you'd put the world name after it and that would only give them access to that permission in that world so that's slightly more complicated um, but yeah it's not it's not too complicated hopefully but then there's also the um, we have slash unset um, user perms and g perms and then you have slash remove group so for doing things the other way around now you may be wondering how do you find permissions for these certain plugins so there is a helpful command slash f perms so um, you just put slash f perms then a name of the uh, plugin currently I don't have easy kits installed so I'm just going to use economy API as an example and it will show you it will list you all of the command all of the permissions and then you can just put a number on the end to get that page number and it's also, you know, you should look on the Pocket page um, and on the GitHub page for that plugin. And usually they'll be listed there if you can't find permissions anywhere. And that kind of plugin should have permissions. Then leave an issue on the GitHub and hopefully the developer will be able to get back to you then. Uh, so let's have a quick look at setting user permissions. Set uperm. And then the command that we the permission that we want again using this as an example um we put the person's username here so let's use myself as an example this is how you set it up for one person to have this um permission and then to put users in a group you do slash set group username and then the group basically so that's what you do and you can also do um, what is it what is the command let me find it a second Well, no, you just you just set a different group to that user, because um, yeah, I you can only have one group at a time, so you just set a different group for the user. So, for example, if I wanted them to be guest instead of VIP, you just go set group guest because then that would remove VIP. 
Uh, and basically, that's how you set it up. That should explain everything. If I've missed anything, then I will link it down. I'll, I'll leave a comment with anything that I might have missed. Also, just quickly before I go, um, I just thought of some other things. Make sure that you have set all of your settings correct in the config files. Um, if you want to use my SQL data provider, set that all right in there. Uh, there's super admin ranks to set, enabling multi-world permissions. So do make sure that you um, sort all that up. And you can also edit the group permissions and worlds and inheritance in the in the config files as well. So yeah, I hope this helped I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching and yeah, see nice. you later. Uh pure chat tutorial will be coming soon. That'll be linked somewhere. Um don't forget to subscribe, like, any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.